I guess that makes sense, but why are you telling me this? To put it simply, I don't think you're the traitor. Wh what Why me? Why can't I be the traitor? You're too dumb. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs>
It would be very bad if we started brutalizing each other left and right. That's, um, I hope it doesn't come to that. As long as we stay calm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, okay, you're gonna kill somebody. All right, who are you? I don't care. Yeah, I do. You're the other, you're the apothecary boy. Apothecary boy. Howdy, Maya, how's it going? I'm doing all right. <laughs> I've been better. <laughs> you know, the last time I was all right, I wasn't trapped in this underwater facility and forced to kill all of my classmates, but you know, I guess today is okay. <clears throat> I'm doing all right. <laughs> you heading to the meeting in the aquarium? Yep. Not sure what we'll discuss, but I might as well go. Not like I have much else to do. From what I've heard, it's mostly discuss disgusting where- uh, Disgusting. Disgusting where we go from here. This is a tough situation to be in, so we gotta come up with a plan to tackle it. I guess that makes sense. I'll be sure to help as much as I can. Thank you, Mr. Apothecary, but where's my boy? Where's the- where's my model boy? Ah, yes, you are SFX boy. How are you doing this beautiful morning, sweet songbird? I'm a people, not a songbird. Also, how can you tell if it's a beautiful morning? We're underwater. <laughs> Why, every morning is beautiful when I'm around radiant damsels such as you two ladies. <laughs> did, did you just call me radiant and a damsel? Of course, milady. A beautiful mistress such as yourself deserves to be treated like a princess. I'm, uh, flattered, but, uh, <laughs> you sound like an effing weirdo. <laughs> I see. Yep, that's all I gotta say. That door is still locked, because it's, it's probably the exit, but we'll go to the aquarium. So, you guys ready to start the, uh, strategy meeting? Sure. Uh, what are we talking about? How to escape? Uh, Karakuma said himself, attempts at escape will result in punishment, and if we really believe he's our captor, I don't think we want to test our luck. Then what do you suggest we do? I say we do nothing. As long as we <laughs> don't kill each other, we can remain here in peace. I'd rather stay here with no deaths than rely on murder to get out. Are you serious? Nothing? That doesn't make any sense. We gotta do something. There's gotta be a trick to it. I'm sure there's some way to get out without anyone dying. I'd rather not risk people's lives on some false hope. If we try to escape, Kurakuma might kill us. I say we sit in place and wait. Maybe someone will come for us. Nothing comes without risk. The only way to prevail is through hardship. I, uh, kind of agree with her. If we don't do anything that goes against Kurakuma, who knows what he might do? Oh, if we do anything, then yeah. The spirits are telling me that there's a way to escape, and it's closer than we think. Messing around sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not exactly in the mood to get punished by the frog. <laughs> um, do you want us to rot here? I'm a busy guy. I don't want to stay locked up in here forever. Don't be foolish. Doing nothing is the safest way to go. I ain't just sitting around forever. I, um... Only through obstacles can we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Risking our lives is stupid. I don't want to be killed by some stupid frog, bear, thing. I don't know what we should do. Hey, guys? Going and doing something stupid doesn't make any sense. We're better off just... Hey, Marie wants to say something. Oh, uh, thanks, Maya. I just wanted to say, maybe we can do something while still following the rules. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we can search the school. The rules said we can explore with minimal restrictions as long as we don't break anything. We should be fine, right? I think that sounds fine. I can do that. As long as we're doing- as long as we're thorough, if there's an escape, we gotta find it. So we're in agreement, right? We'll explore the building and look for an escape. Looks like it. All right, well. Well, I guess we just look around, right? I hope we find something useful, actually. Floor investigation time. Starting now, you can explore this new world you found yourself in. Once you're done, go to Maya's room and go to bed. Well, okay. Ah, I see, and there's big old exclamation points wherever there's things. Ah, look at all the fish in here. 
I've only seen some of them at aquariums. <laughs> and crap. I wonder who feeds them. Maybe there's an automatic feeder in here somewhere, but who refills it? Hey, is that a hatch up there? How did I see this before? I guess it used to be inside the tank. Wait, wouldn't this let a bunch of water out? I guess it wouldn't be too much consideration. I guess it wouldn't be too much considering it's pretty high up, but there's still pretty weird. I guess it doesn't matter too much. It won't... It wouldn't release a bunch of water if the water levels on both sides are the same. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. It's not like I'm trying to get in or out or anything. At least, uh, not yet. Okay, and then the exclamation point goes away. Interesting, interesting. So let's just go ahead and look around. Give ourselves a peek around the old... I can't... Can't go in here, unfortunately. Oh, what about you? You find anything? Hey, Oliver, you found anything? Why are you talking to me? I just want to know if you found anything. Well, I didn't, so piss off. Oliver, you suck. <laughs> you do. Now, uh, what's here? Hello? Uh, dang. That really is the ocean, huh? We really are in an underwater basement, huh? In other words, uh, in any other situation, I would think this is super cool, but <laughs> now I'm kind of freaked out. It's almost claustrophobic. I wonder how deep we are. Hey, you find anything, my boy? Hey, Caesar, what do you think about this whole thing? No response. He must be the strong, silent type. That's so cute. And then he says nothing. All right, mangaka, what do you what do you got? This whole thing feels straight out of a manga, but I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. No offense, Leona, but that's definitely a bad thing. I guess. But why does it have to be something like this that becomes real? Why can't my life be like a romance manga? Yeah, that would be great. All right, Leona, get yourself together. We got a place to search and exclamation points to click on. The library, there's books here. Ugh, books. Do you not like reading? Uh, when I try to read, I zone out. And I'm like five pages in, and I don't even remember what I read. It's annoying. Yeah, that makes sense that you don't read much. You didn't strike me as <laughs> as well-read, wow. Are you trying to call me stupid? <laughs> you're a sack of garbage. I'm gonna talk to you, because you're slowly becoming my boy. The smell of old books. Nothing can quite beat it. It's so fleeting. I hate book smell. I hate books. <laughs> Freaking Maya. <laughs> How unfortunate. Books are the ancient uh, passed on their wisdoms. I regard books with the utmost respect. Bro, I don't care about a bunch of... <laughs> a bunch of dead dudes. Wow. I see. How tragic. Rude. I don't really care about the either of you. So we'll just keep walking. The lounge. So I'm glad that this is the way that it's going, that there's exclamation points, because that'll be so much more useful for investigations when this game happens, uh, or when that part or episode happens. Uh, this room has a super relaxed vibe, fitting for a lounge, I guess. The sofas are cozy as heck, and the light from those artificial candles are nice and relaxing. I think they even have some kind of fragrance. Cool. Uh, do I care about you? No, you suck. You I like. Hey. <laughs> Howdy, Maya. Oh, uh, hey, Koji. How's it going? I'm just looking around, but I'm not finding anything. I haven't found too much besides a hatch to get into the aquarium, but I can't see how that, uh, would really be useful. I guess we gotta keep looking. Yeah, I do. I do. We, we do have to keep looking, my boy. A hey, shame, isn't it? And then we go here to the the rooms, the dorms. Can I sprint? I cannot. That is a shame. Uh, what is this? The dorms have 16 rooms in a row, separated into boys and girls. Looks like they all have our initials next to them, meaning the one with MC is mine. The rooms themselves are pretty average. They've got beds and cabinets and stuff, but they also have a really weird water tank. I guess it's just for decoration, you think? Who are you again? Oh yeah, you're that girl. You're Marie. Hey Maya, did you find anything? 
The only thing I found that seemed important was a hatch to get into the aquarium, but I don't think we really want to go in there. I'm just glad you found something. Maybe we can look at it later once we've prepared a bit. So, Marie, do you think we'll be able to get out of here? I really hope so. Wow, you two are Debbie Downers. Let me talk to someone who's not a Debbie Downer. My boy, the model. Where is he? He's gonna end up being the first killer. That's how these games generally work. They take away somebody that I love. I don't want to talk to you because I'm not going to read your lines because you're a foul mouth. Uh, I just came from here, so we're going this way. I'll talk to them. Oh, there is an exclamation point in here. Thank goodness. Hey, it's my boy the model, too. <clears throat> the kitchen is pretty alright. It's not exactly a place where you could cook the finest gourmet meals, but it's enough for the 16 of us. From the looks out of it, the food refills daily and dirty dishes can be put in the tiny elevator. At the end of the day it goes up, and the next day it comes down clean again. I wonder who's doing that. So, can we go into the tiny elevator? Right? That would be the ideal. Hey August, how's the search going? Nothing of note. This elevator is a bit suspicious though. I wonder if someone small can fit into it. I wonder if they would be able to get out. Maya, that idea sucks. What if they get taken to the mastermind behind all of this? They'll probably get killed. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you're trash. Alright, and this was the classroom that I woke up in. Classroom A. And I guess, like Danganronpa, we'll get access to more areas as the game goes on. Hello? Jesus Christ, can you shut up about all of that ghost crap? This ghost crap is real important. Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Are you Canadian? <laughs> it's a matter of life, death, and undeath, eh? <laughs> What's going on here? I came in here for some peace and quiet, and this crazy one showed up talking about this weird crap. I, I don't get respect for the spirits. You'll regret it for the rest of eternity. Hey, Maya, you're a weirdo like her. Maybe you can do something about this. Uh, hey, Tamako, stop saying weird crap. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Strange. Strange to say the least. I think that's all of the rooms. Besides from potentially talking to people, but I don't think that's gonna get me anywhere. Uh, maybe I should, though. But maybe I won't. Because <laughs> I feel like I've talked to everybody that I like so far. I'm sure- oh, well, I gotta get away from see. I'm gonna go take a nap. You guys continue to search, I'm gonna sleep. Yes. To your satisfaction. Yeah. I guess I'm pretty much done. It sucks that I didn't really find anything. I'm pretty sure it's starting to get late. I should probably go to bed? Just like last night. I fell asleep onto my bed. Exhausted. Knock knock. The door, I wonder who's there. I slowly get out of bed and I open the door. There aren't any clocks, but I can tell it's still late. Hey. Oh, uh, hi. What are you doing up this late? I wanted to talk. Have you noticed anything weird? I mean, this whole thing is pretty weird, man. <laughs> I mean, like, about anyone else. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know why, but I have what I guess you could call a hunch. What kind of hunch? A traitor. I think there's a traitor. A traitor? Why would you think that? I, I don't have much evidence to base this on, but I've noticed a few pretty weird things. What kind of things? First of all, there aren't any cameras that I've seen, yet they have to be monitoring us somehow. I guess. But what if they have hidden cameras? They have high-tech stuff like fingerprint scanners and karakuma, so cameras that we can't see aren't impossible. That is true. But that's not all I've got. I doubt that this whole thing was set up by one person. It has to be some kind of group. I guess that makes sense, but what does that have to do with a traitor? Wouldn't it make sense to throw a player of their own in? Or throw in a player of their own? That way they can manipulate the game while remaining anonymous. They can use the traitor to influence our actions by, Perpinda, by pretending to be one of us while covertly leading us to some kind of secret agenda. But wouldn't that be dangerous for them? They made it clear that we're supposed to kill each other. What if this traitor accidentally gets targeted? Setting this whole thing up was already a 
huge risk most likely, or at the very least done by someone with a lot of power. Plus, for all we know, the traitor would get some kind of special protections, and if someone targets them, the one who sent them might come to protect them. I guess that makes sense, but why are you telling me this? To put it simply, I don't think you're the traitor. What? Why me? Why can't I be the traitor? You're too dumb. <laughs> In all honesty, you're kind of loud and kind of dumb. <laughs> But I don't think you could be the traitor. Among all of these people, you're the one that I trust to not be behind this. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> I just wanted to say, keep an eye out, alright? Not just for the traitor, but anyone that might try to kill you. Aw, oh, you're worried about me. Don't get all excited, I just want to avoid anyone getting hurt. Whatever you say, you're loud and dumb. You'll probably be the first target, Maya. With that... August left the room, and I went to bed for the second time tonight. And it's time for Kurokuma Theater again. After a long day, I like to kick back and relax with a warm glass of swamp water and a big bowl of candied flies. I say it's always important to indulge your carnal desires, especially if it's sex and violence. Okay. <laughs> I'm a frog, so I can't have sex, <laughs> and I couldn't hurt a fly, well, maybe a fly. Uh, since you're a human, you can do those things. Stop wasting your life playing video games about teenagers killing each other. Go out and have sex, go out and kill someone. No, the writer of this game does not endorse killing people and discourages sex. Stay abstinent, folks. <laughs> Delightful. I wake up the next morning feeling that some, uh, wake up feeling the same uneasy feeling. Like I slept, but I didn't rest. I guess I'm still getting used to this. Alright, well. I guess we'll, uh, exit. Someone waiting for me here? Oh, hey. Hey, Marie's making breakfast for everyone. Nice. I guess she would be kind of good at cooking as a volunteer. With so many volunteer hours, I'm sure some of it was cooking. Um, so she asked me to come and tell you that we're meeting in the uh, aquarium again. What are we meeting for? I guess sharing everything and anything that we found yesterday. She also said something about wanting everyone to stick together. There are probably going to be more people this morning. She's making food for everyone. And I guess that's the best way to get us all together. That's so nice. How is she so nice to everyone? She's truly a saint. Uh, no, screw you. Although I feel like I'm gonna miss someone saying something important to me, but screw her. <laughs> screw her. Uh, who are you? What do you want? I keep talking to Oliver. I just wanted to know if you're going to the meeting. I guess. If there's food involved. Marie is so nice. She really, she's really making breakfast for everyone. I can't get over that. Out of all the people here, Marie is one of the more tolerable. She gives off a sort of motherly vibe. Ah, do you like it when people take care of you or something? But what? The heck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Piss off. Maya, what, what are you doing? Also, did, freaking Maya. Just... You're pleasant, but I, I know that I'm gonna regret this, but I'll talk to you. How are you doing, Victoria? Hey, Victoria, are you going to the meeting? Heck yeah, I am! An important effing part of being a sailor is having a good damn breakfast to start it off. I can't believe Marie is cooking for all 16 of us. I wonder if anyone is helping her. I checked and I think she's doing it all on her own. She's gonna kill all of us with poison. That's how this ends. This is the end of the game. I think she likes it better that way. She's one of those freaking important people that feels important when she does stuff for others. I doubt that's it. I think she's just pleasant. Hey. Well, for all I know, she could just be dead. Someone could have killed her in the kitchen for all I know. So this is almost everyone. Four aren't here. I went to get... Wait, four isn't here. I'm sorry. I forgot that someone's name is four. I was like, four aren't here. And my brain was like, let's just auto-correct that grammar. But four is a person. Four isn't here. I went to get her, but she said she doesn't want to be around everyone else. Even food won't get her to come. Speaking of food, I'm hungry. Where is it? Shouldn't we discuss our findings yesterday first? Shouldn't we wait for Marie? Oh, uh, you don't have to wait for me. I'm right here. Thanks, Marie. You're great. Marie rolls in a cart full of food. 
Breakfast is served. I've got eggs, toast, and bacon. Eat as much as you want. Make sure there aren't any leftovers. Marie, you treat us all so well, even though one of us might kill you. Wow, Marie, this is really good. Thanks. You really made this all for us? That's so sweet. Ah, breakfast. The meal fit for legends. And the great men in history have known the utmost importance of breakfast. <laughs> I agree, this breakfast is effing good, Marie. <laughs> a breakfast is truly meant for a good sailor like me. <sighs> hey guys, it's fine. As long as we're all together, I'll put my best effort in. I'm glad we all have a nice breakfast as a group. Wait, Thor isn't here. I guess... Uh, it'll take a bit more to get her to her. Don't worry, she'll come around eventually. That sappy crap is really lame, but this food is good. I guess I can stay around for a bit. <laughs> yeah, it is good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, Marie. <laughs> you even got the introverts to join us. <laughs> Jeez, guys. It's really not a big deal. I'm happy as long as we're all together. Marie, how can you be so nice? <laughs> this breakfast is good and all, but uh, let's not forget the real purpose of this meeting. We need to ex discuss what everyone found yesterday. Caesar and I checked the office. From the window in there, you can see the ocean for miles. They even saw some fish swimming around. The office itself was pretty normal. Couple desks with stuff like pens, staplers, and that kind of thing. Maybe I can make it into my new studio. I was in the lounge, or whatever. So was I. <laughs> yeah, so was he. We found magazines and stuff, but they're all from last month. There's like a bunch of candles, but they're all fake. Candles in the hallway are fake too. The library is very extensive and contains books on a wide variety of topics, including fiction and nonfiction. They have some of the great literary works from the past few centuries. I could spend ages in there. Was there anything like an escape? No. <laughs> All the classrooms, uh, the classrooms didn't have anything significant. Even the uh, divination could not reveal any secrets. I didn't see anything there, but the wacko over there was distracting me all the time, so it wasn't exactly a surprise. I was in the other classroom. I didn't find a freaking thing. I checked the kitchen, nothing there, but it looks like we get food restocked every day, so there's a service elevator to put dishes on and they get sent back clean. I wonder if we can do anything with that. Maybe it could be the possible maybe it could be possible to send a camera up or something with a person fit. I don't think sending people up there would be a good idea. Who knows what kind of things could be up there? I shudder at thought of that. I feel like we should do something about it, you hear me? Otherwise we're just standing around like, <laughs> you dumb butts, <laughs> ignoring something that could help us. Perhaps we discuss the elevator at a later date. I say we should at least, it should be a last ditch effort if anything, if any other plans fail. Sending someone in sounds like a, a, a bit of a perilous plan. I checked the dorm area. From what I saw, each room is for one person. It's unlocked with a fingerprint scanner. Outside, I couldn't really find anything suspicious. So there's nothing suspicious in anyone's dorm. Has anyone noticed anything weird? One of us could be a mastermind, so... Perhaps. Nobody says anything. Apparently the dorms are all pretty much the same. Hey Maya, you found something, right? In the aquarium? Oh yeah, I did find something. It's a bit hard to notice because it's made of the same kind of glass, but as the rest of the tank, but if you look right there, there's a patch. I stand in front of everyone and show everyone where it was. I'm not sure what we would use it for, but maybe we can do something with it. So also, we need to make note of the water level if there is actually nothing on the other side. Like, my theory is that on the other side, there's just another area with the same water level and then maybe like... A room but otherwise the water might just get displaced good job Maya that could be super helpful yeah I know I'm the best thank you Marie let's have a good time together not not too good of a time but you know let's spend some free time together maybe we can get in there and make some fish sticks I could go for some seafood right about now I don't think we have to worry about that. The kitchen already has fish sticks that are probably a lot easier to make. <laughs> you fool. You heretic. 
meat taken straight from the source is the true way to eat it. Anything else is a lousy imitation. You sound real passionate about meat. Of course, meat is the essence of life. Taking life from another to nourish yourself, it's so romantic, so beautiful. I wouldn't call eating meat romantic. Of course it is. Eating meat you've prepared yourself is a sacred ritual where you take the spirit of another and absorb it into your own. She really does have a few screws loose, huh? We spent the rest of the morning laughing and joking around. It was almost normal. All the people are bizarre, but I'm surprised we can all actually get along so well. After we split up for breakfast, I returned to my dorm. I guess I have some free time. There is free time! Uh, you guessed it, it's free time in HDRH2O. It's done a little differently than in the common Danganronpa games. First of all, there's no gift system. Thank goodness. So you don't have to figure out what to give anyone. Just hang out with them and they'll automatically accept. Great. Fantastic. Second of all, every free time has its own unique events for every character. That means if you want to talk to a character during two different free times, they'll be different. Yes. Even if it's your first time talking to them. Oh. I see it. Well, I'm gonna... So that I'm not doing everything in this game, <laughs> I'm going to play it like an actual Danganronpa game. Now that you understand, get out there and socialize. But we'll save that for next episode, because we've run 30 minutes already, haven't we? Next episode will free time. Tell me who you want me to hang out with, because I guess we, we have a lot of characters. If you need the whole list of characters, go back to episode... Whew. Go back to episode one, because they're all there. That's when I int well, I didn't introduce them all. They all introduced themselves. I know who I want to hang out with, but since there's two free times, I think, we'll hang out with two characters for one and two characters for another, giving us four free times, I guess. That's, how, that's what I understand the limitations to be. I could be wrong. But until then, this is your United States Aviator taking off. Make sure to tell me who you want to see hung out with in this episode. I'm sure plenty of you love Marie, and I'm sure plenty of you want me to freaking read the sailor's lines, but uh, if you want them that bad, I'll do it. Like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time for more Hydro Danganronpa H2O. I'm not sure if the H stands for Hydro, I don't actually remember. I actually, I feel like I can pull it up. Nope, it still says H2O on the, on the files, so on the on the text file here, maybe? No, that's the licensing for something else. HDR. Nope, still says HDR. Well, I'll know for next time. Until then, toodaloo, flight crew.